Oh guys, welcome back to another episode of Gunpla Re-Review. I'm Spicy Bill, and today we're gonna be looking at uh, New Gundam and the High New Gundam. So yeah, these guys are, well, obviously the uh, successor to the Narrative Gundam. Uh, the Narrative Gundam was a prototype for the New Gundam, and the High New Gundam is a manga version of the uh, New Gundam. I don't know if the high new is actually canon, probably not canon, because uh, it's, just, it's just like the Nightingale, uh, you know, the uh, variation of the Sazabi, but, you know, apparently it's popular enough to get a model kit, so, yeah, it's popular enough to get a model kit in high grade and master grade, so, it's, uh, it's a thing. Anyway, uh, we're going to take a look at the new Gundam first, and... Let's go ahead and jump right into it. So obviously right here we have Amuro's, uh, uh, Amuro's new Gundam from Shars Counter-Attack. Obviously uh, this thing is designed with a cycle frame, but you don't get to see the cycle frame because it never goes into destroy mode. <laughs> because it doesn't need to because it's that awesome. And obviously we all know that the Unicorn is based off the uh, technology from the new Gundam and yeah this is a this is a pretty solid kit although uh, the articulation is somewhat dated you can see right here it's still using the uh, old style ball joint to the polycap system for the uh, hips however uh, yeah it, it looks like it has, it's a part separation right here for the hips but there this is not a thigh cut yeah, <laughs> that's uh that's a little bit disappointing, isn't it? I uh, w when I uh, got this kit, um, yeah, it's been a while since I look at this kit. It's been sitting in my friend's uh, man cave for a while, and when I got it, I was like, yeah, thigh cut, but no, there's no thigh cut. Yeah, and uh, chest is only uh, one solid piece, so it's a uh, it's a bit a little bit dated, and you can see the details. Uh, I guess the detail is a little bit lacking on the part just came out. This is the uh, connector port cover for the uh, action base. So let's pop the sucker back in if I can. Okay, anyway, uh, yeah, it's flush. Okay, um, obviously this guy's got the uh, funnel system. Very nice. Uh, the funnel, you can, uh, you know, take the funnel off the funnel. This uh, system right here, and they use it. Uh, let's see. I guess it has like these uh, spots where you can, you know, attach it to some kind of a stand. But really, doesn't provide anything. And the funnel, you have to just, you know, uh, keep it in this shape. Obviously, uh, if you touch it, it's gonna get uh, move out of the the shape of the funnel. But either way, it looks pretty cool. There's some full sticker here on the uh, funnel. I wish these these were all part separation. That would have been very nice. Hopefully, uh, you know, we get an updated version of this kit, and we get more, uh, you know, uh, color separation. All these were done using paint, so yeah. Uh, I wish there was more color separation for the new Gundam, but unfortunately, uh, this is what we get. This is what we got, and I think it's okay. Yeah, still a pretty solid kit for 2018. Um, I know a lot of the uh, articulation is a little bit dated. We do have the uh, butterfly joint right here, which is okay. It's got this special hinge here for the shoulder to go up, so that's not bad. <laughs> and obviously we got the biceps uh, cut right here and a single bend at the elbow, which is, uh, yeah, that's what makes it very dated. But it's got these, uh, you know, the armor piece right here is separate from the uh, uh, shoulder. It's kind of like the real gray. Although, let's see if this thing, yeah, it, it also have that hinge. So I think you can kind of move it. I don't want to risk anything though. I forgot. Uh, I I don't know where I put the manual for this kit, so I I don't think I want to mess with that. Just in case if it doesn't actually go up, I might break something. So. Anyway, uh, very, very limited articulation. This is technically a double jointed knee, but you're only going to give more than, slightly more than 90 degree out of that, so. 
Yeah. Why is there a gap? I don't know. I need to go find a manual for this kit. <laughs> I might need to take it apart and do some work on it. But either way, it's a it's a very solid kit. Overall, it's yeah, it's it's pretty solid. The only thing that you might want to concern about is maybe the funnels falling off. Other than that, it's a it's a pretty pretty solid kit. And you know the new Gundam is actually a little bit taller than the narrative. So yeah, it's uh, slightly taller than the narrative. I think narrative is probably around the same size as the high new. High new is smaller. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, uh, but it's got this beam rifle. And if you saw my Gundam Tristan review, uh, Gundam Tristan actually had the same beam rifle as the new Gundam. Although the new Gundam actually have an improvement over the uh, 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 the Gundam Tristan because uh, this whole upper piece is a separate piece. That's actually really nice. On the Gundam Tristan, the beam rifle is just two pieces snapped together and it's all white. So basically, you had to paint this whole entire top section on that kit, which is terrible. And what else is cool is the beam saber. Uh, you got this attachment point here for the beam saber. And this is a very, very cool beam saber. So basically, uh, you open this up like that. You take the beam and you stick it in right here. And on the bottom here, you also have another attachment point for another beam effect part. So take a look at that. That is a very cool looking beam saber indeed. <laughs> Also, there's another gimmick right here. You can uh, remove this whole section here and attach this part so you can have like, you know, funnels on both sides. So it look more symmetrical if you're not into this whole asymmetrical thing. Obviously, it's got the shield. The shield is kind of remind me of the Sazabi shield because it's got like all these grenades or rockets here. And it's got the armor symbol right there. Yeah, it looks like a Looks like it took uh, the Sazabi, either the Sazabi or the, uh, actually no, this looks like the, the Sinanju shield probably took inspiration from the new Gundam shield, yeah. And obviously the uh, uh, narrative is going to have a shield that kind of looks like this, which you can open up into the destroy mode, or something like that. Okay, and also on the, sh on the forearm here, we have another... Uh, uh, beam saber so you can take this off and then the uh, new Gundam's got another beam saber attached to the forearm. The shield connector is pretty simple it does have this also it also have this very cool looking bazooka you have the ammo here all these parts separation which is very nice also got a handle and the bazooka can be stored on the backpack there's uh, this little attachment point here and you just slot that in there like so yeah, I think this is still a nice kit. Um, I I don't know if uh, they're going to revive this kit, maybe a revived version of this kit. But, you know, with the narrative Gundam and all, you know, I think it's a possibility that they might do something in 2019 or maybe 2020. <laughs> still, it's a very nice looking kit overall. Yeah, the articulation is stated and it, it could use more detail. Or Bandai could have given us a you know new Gundam with a cycle frame like the uh, the Master Grave Recall version with a cycle frame that can open up that would be, definitely be very nice. Anyway, uh, that's the uh, new Gundam. I spent all this time talking about the new Gundam, and let's take a look at the uh, uh, High New. So right here we have the High New, which like I said before, it's uh, you know like a maybe non-canon version of the new Gundam. Now you do have to paint the beam rifle, which I didn't do, uh, if you want it to look box accurate. This version is from Gun Gunpla Builders Beginning G, which is a predecessor to the uh, uh, the Gundam Build Fighter series, which eventually evolved into Build Divers, and that's terrible. And yeah, it's got the uh, bazooka too. That's actually pretty interesting. It's got the uh, the beam bazooka, similar to the new Gundam. 
Wait, hang on. Is this thing actually for the new Gundam or is this for the... Uh, uh, I think this is actually for the new Gundam because the color matches uh, the new Gundam. But I could be wrong. This thing could belong to the... Uh, <laughs> uh, the high new. But either way, it, it seems to be working fine. The funnel makes it kind of uh, heavy on the side. But yeah, that's interesting. Uh, didn't know that he also had a bazooka that so that that bazooka might be belong to the high new uh, also got the very nice interesting gimmick here with the beam saber you have well, one beam saber effect here and then one beam saber effect on the bottom so that's cool anyway let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, high new so I have him here on the action base because uh, you know he's got just he got a lot of crazy stuff going on here. You do have to paint in all the parts there for the uh, fuel tanks, the thrusters, and stuff like that. Also, all these have to be painted. All these parts right here, and the vents, and the shoulders. Yeah, you have to paint the shoulders. That's a pain in the butt. And yeah, it's got a different beam rifle. The thing you have to paint, so uh, that could be a little bit annoying. Also, it's got uh, attachment points here for like the beam saber hilt. This is a uh, very interesting. I think that's a beam saber hilt, but I could be wrong. Oh yeah, and then uh, obviously you had to split the uh, hand in order to attach a beam rifle. This one has a peg in there, so makes attaching it a little bit easier. Less of a chore. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and connect this. There's also the uh, High Grade Universal Sentry version of the uh, new Gundam. That's uh, it's, it's actually the only difference between these two kits are the color. I think that one has like purple uh, in place of this uh, very dark navy blue color. But either way, uh, it's pretty much 100% the same kit, just different color. And uh, this one does come with all the uh, UC style decals, so you can make this thing a Lombo Bell uh, <laughs> Earth Federation suit instead of a customized build, uh, Gunpla Builder Beginning G suit. Apparently, the pilot for this suit is super arrogant and then nobody likes him. But anyway, let's go ahead and take off the shield real quick. Let's see if I can actually get that to work. Oh, the shield pops off. The shield's a little bit different than the one from the new Gundam. You can see it. this one's a lot more detailed, but it doesn't have the gimmicks like the rockets and stuff like that. And uh, he also have the uh, storage section here for, on the forearm for the beam saber. Let's see if I can open this up. There you go. Uh, just show like there's something in there, but there's really nothing in there at all. <laughs> and the shield connector just uh, pegs in right there onto the forearm. So I mean the the um, the beam right the beam saber is just pretty much the same one as the new Gundam, so we really don't need to talk about that too much. And you can see the size difference. So the high new is slight, uh, it's a bit smaller than the new Gundam because this thing is supposed to be based on normal Gundam proportions. The high new is more like the same size as the double Zeta because they just want to make the Gundams a little bit bigger in that time period. But anyway, uh, the high new is actually very detailed. You can see uh, it's just a much, much more detailed version of the new Gundam have all these extra panel lines, you know, all these, uh, uh, the legs are more detailed, it's a smaller and more detailed version of the, uh, the new Gundam, which is very nice, I, I do like this design quite a bit, <laughs> and we do have these, uh, and his funnels are different too, these looks more like wings, with the funnel part attached to it, that looks really cool. Uh, honestly, I can do without the fuel tanks. I don't know. I don't know about these fuel tanks. I think they're just you know too much extra crap attached to the back. And plus, the fuel tanks like right next to the uh, thrusters, so wouldn't this thing just explode? So I'm not really a big fan of that. We do have this extra stabilizer piece, so it makes it 
you know more maneuverable when it's flying or more stable. Uh, the funnel is actually very interesting. You can actually remove this, but this thing is just two parts, uh, one solid piece. So basically, what you get is you get the uh, extra funnel parts right here. Uh, if I can plug this in properly. Why can I get this thing in properly? There we go. So we got these extra parts right here that you can attach to uh, the backpack right there. Like that. That evens it out. And then this one here. Uh, the, these two on the, uh, uh, I guess this, the tip of the wings are the only one you can articulate. So yeah, the, these two are just there for looks. So, yeah, it can be a little bit disappointing, but it is what it is. <laughs> so, yeah, I think that's the proper way to do it. So we have this, and basically uh, you just push it back into the uh, funnel mode, or the uh, non-deploy mode, like that, and then you plug it into the... And that looks pretty good. Yeah, I definitely like the look of the high new more than the new Gundam. Uh, this one also suffers from the same technology, old style technology, bow joint to the polycap, no slide cuts, uh, double jointed knee. This one's a little bit better, but single jointed elbows and you know no app crunch, blah blah blah. It's a very solid kit too, though. Yeah, this thing is very solid, so it's definitely nice. Yeah. If you're willing to put in the extra work, you know, detailing up, paint all the vents and stuff like that, I think you're going to have a pretty uh, nice looking kit. Yeah, definitely uh, something you want to check out too. Um, if you don't like the purple color, you know, like I said, pick up uh, the Gunpla Builders version and just put on the UC decals on here. It's a non-canon suit anyway, so it doesn't really matter uh, what you do with it. <laughs> yeah, it's uh... Yeah. Alright, and I think that is pretty much it for the new Gundam and the high new. Let me know what you guys think about uh, these two kits. Which one do you like more? And that's pretty much it for this video. Stay tuned for more re-reviews. Thanks for watching.